All right, guys, before we get into the video, I'm going to be doing an Optimon Cape giveaway. All you have to do to enter is leave a like, comment your IGN, and make sure you're subscribed. All right, what's up, guys? Today, we're going to be bringing back the How to Make Texture Pack series. So if you guys want me to make this a daily series once again on my channel, let's try to go for 4,000 likes on this video, and I'll have the next episode out for you guys as soon as possible. Also, guys, make sure to join my Discord because I usually put early releases on there to videos and packs. The link to that will be down in the description, or it's just discord.gg slash latency. So yeah, boys, 4,000 likes, and the next episode will be out as soon as possible. So make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. So today we're going to be getting started on the basics of a diamond sword, how to make a diamond sword, how to start your own style, and also all the different resolutions. The reason I picked diamond swords for the topic of this video is because it's really like the whole basis of a pack. Like obviously people notice the swords more than anything else. All right, so we're going to start from complete scratch. You're going to want to go to file, new, and 128 by 128. Basically, Minecraft swords go from 8 by 8 to 16 by 16, 32 by 32 and so on basically just keep multiplying the number by two so you're gonna want to select your magic wand tool and select the white canvas and press delete on your keyboard or just go up here to edit and then erase selection so usually on the high res end i use the line slash curve tool to make the basis of the sword and depending on the style you want you're gonna have to select the brush width and four is too thick in my opinion also before we start making lines you're gonna want to select anti-aliasing to disabled so it doesn't show up with blurry pixels like that. All right, yeah, so like I said, I usually start off with three to make my diamond swords in 128. So you're gonna wanna start messing around with the line slash curve tool, which is basically like it says, it makes a line and it's just that simple. So you wanna click down on your mouse and then just drag it wherever you want. To make it completely straight, you need to press shift on your keyboard and it'll straighten it out as you can see. And this is me not pressing shift and then shift. People usually like their swords pretty thin and long. If you know what I mean. Usually I like to start off with my swords with a really bright color. Obviously I change it to black or whatever color later. But it's really easy to see when you have uh, bright colors that are different. So that is why this is green for now. But obviously we'll change it later on. Alright so we're going to start off by making the blade. And let's get right into it. So you make the other side of the blade just like that. You just draw a line how thick you want it or you know how long. Once you find the perfect amount of uh, space in between you want, you're going to start making the top of the actual blade. You can't really put it together like this because as you can see, it's uneven. So obviously you guys are going to want the sword to be even. So you need to find a perfect length in between each other and then create the two lines that create the top of the blade. And as you can see, this is 8x8, eight eight, so it's even. So right there, we already have the blade, as you can see. All right, now we're going to get into making the handle of the sword. And I'm going to select a different color so I can see the difference and also make a new layer. All right, now we're going to get started with the handle. And you're going to want to select a different bright color. So you're going to want to make the handle in a new layer. So make sure to add a new layer before starting in the handle. And yeah, basically do the same thing you did with the blade and just add a line here. I usually do one side of the handle and then flip it to the other side so it's exactly even. So you really only have to make one side of it. Usually I like my handle just straight, but obviously everybody has their own styles. So to bend your handle and make it look different, usually uh, when you drag the line, you'll see these circles and you just click on those and you can drag it wherever you want. So there's four different circles on each line and you basically just move them around to your liking. So let's say I made my handle and I want it to go up. You just move it around and obviously it will go up. But personally, I just like to keep my handle straight like this. And then as we go down towards the bottom of the sword, I mix it up a little bit and add some curves. Usually when I have a blade on three, I usually make the handle on brush width two. So once you get the first line of the handle, you're going to want to start going down because obviously swords usually go down to around here. So you're going to want to move your way down. I usually just do it straight up like this. Or if you want, you could uh, do what I showed before and just add something like this. Make it a little bit curvy. But personally, I just like to make it straight. Then you want to make your way down even more. Just hold shift to make it even. Then down a little bit more and more towards the center. Oh, also, one thing I forgot to mention, I usually have like a little line in the middle of the blade. Just so I know where the center of the sword is. And it really helps out a lot. So make sure you add a new layer and just go on a brush with one and then just drag a line down the middle of the blade just so you can see where everything's supposed to be centered so all you have to do to get it to the other side is copy this and then make a new file all right now you're going to want to go to image rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise and then flip horizontally and then there you have it copy this and then paste it into a new layer and then make sure it's even so you're going to want to make sure you put it in evenly all you have to do is just select both corners and as you can see it's 58 by 58 so it is even and then you want to merge the layers all right now you want to get into the actual grip of the sword which is the bottom part so we're going to select another different color and then make another layer select brush with two and then just 
hold shift and go straight down you're gonna want to do it on both sides you don't really need to do the copy and paste thing for this this is pretty simple so you don't want to make this too long or too short so make sure you make it like the perfect amount for you and usually what people will do here is go to the shapes tool then go to here and select an ellipse and then make it as wide as you want and just make a circle hold shift so it's even and then just put that around here so for this sword i don't think i'm going to be doing that so i'm going to just draw a straight line here and then cut off this at the end so once it's all done you pretty much have the sword all you have to do is delete the thing in the middle and then merge layers down so to make it all the same color easily all you have to do is select black and white adjustments brightness and contrast and then put it all the way down and then just keep doing that until it's all black and then there you go you have your sword all right so i think i made the blade a little bit too thick so i'm basically just going to chop off one pixel of it all right so now we're going to get into adding effects and coloring the blade so you're going to want to choose two colors preferably from this or you can choose your own like from here but i usually just like to use these down here so you choose two colors and usually they're like on top of each other like if you want green and then dark green or blue and dark blue just choose it so for this one we're going to be using these two colors so you're going to want to go to the gradient tool which is what you use to blend two colors and then just drag it to your liking so i want it to be like half dark on one side and the half light on one side so i'm just going to drag it like here right down the middle and just like the line tool you can um press shift to make it straight and yeah it's that simple and usually for my blades i you go to effects blur and average blur to make the actual blade and you can choose how much blur you want in it usually i use number three so you just press OK. By the way, all my paint.net plugins, which is if you see this blue thing right here, those are plugins you have to download from a website. Those will all be down in the description. Obviously, not everyone has these. You have to download them. So then once you do that, if you go here, you can see there are transparent pixels. So you're going to want to select the blade, copy it and merge it into a bunch of new layers. And you, as you can see, the transparent pixels are not gone. So you just merge them back into one layer. And there you have it. You have your blade. All right. So now we're going to be doing the handle. And for this handle, I think I'm going to make it really dark. So we're going to go back to the gradient tool and make sure it's on linear, by the way, because if you have it on linear reflected, it'll go both ways. Or if you have it on diamond, it'll go into the diamond shape. And honestly, usually I like to use the linear, but for this, we could probably use the diamond shape. So basically just use the gradient tool in the way you like it. And then uh, there you have it. Obviously, you have to add some effects. So you're going to repeat average blur and then do the thing we did before and just merge it. All right, so now we're gonna add some shading to both the blade and the handle. I'm gonna go to effects, photo, and vignette, and then just put it wherever you want it. This basically just adds dark shading to it. So I want it to be really dark, so I wanna have it about here. The radius is how far you want it to go, and the density is how dark you want it. So I think around here is good. And obviously you wanna adjust it to where you exactly want it with this thing right here. So we're gonna do that, and this looks pretty good. Usually on my handles, I will add a bevel effect of uh, white highlight and it will be really, really subtle. So we're going to make the depth about one and strength really low. So about here is good. And I honestly think this is too bright for the blade. So we're going to make this a lot darker and just go to brightness and just turn down the brightness. And then we're going to go to the magic wand tool, select the blade. And then hue saturate and, and i want to change the colors to make it brighter so we're just going to put it to negative five i think this sword's really simple so we're going to be adding like an emblem to it i feel like a gold emblem would look really good on this so we're going to select a bright color and then just i don't know freestyle see what looks good all right so i added this little thing right here as you can see and we're going to take two gold colors and just make a linear gradient and then we're going to add a average blur actually no we're going to do a fragment blur So this looks just about good and then there you go actually i'm gonna i'm gonna take these two so we still haven't added the vignette shading to the blade so we're gonna go to uh vignette and then just add it real quick there you go that looks just about good and we're gonna add it to this thing too Right about here is good there you go and here's the sword guys so this is a 128 sword in the future we'll probably cover it like 32x swords or whatever you guys want but here is the basics of making a high resolution diamond sword 
So here's the final sword. I actually remade it on stream because I wasn't happy with the way it turned out. I feel like I could do a bit better. It's really, really, really similar to the one I made. It's just like a couple of edits, like making it skinnier and stuff. So this pack is going to be called Voltage and I'm going to be releasing it probably tomorrow. So make sure to leave a like if you guys are hyped for that. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Tell me if you guys want more pack tutorial videos. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And yeah, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and peace.